What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get another easy achievement. We're just going through these exploration achievements at this point. Uh, this one is Everything Old is New Again. Now this is an alliance only achievement, Horde don't even have it in their journal, but what you have to do for this achievement is you have to find and return the Falling Order of Ambrose relics to the rifle place in Dressfar. That's a crossbow, a flask, a hat, and a knife. Now these are like quest items that are around Dressfar. Horde can interact with them, but uh, they can't get the achievements because if you're a horde tune, you might be able to see it's not even in your journal. But it's a pretty simple achievement. We just go around to Drosfar, click all these random things, and then we bring it to this uh, shrine, I think. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on uh, getting this achievement. So this first one that we're going to go to is a hat, Order of Empress hat. Now, I do have all these marked on my map here. If you can see them amidst all the world quests. And I will be seeing the coordinates of them all, but I will of course be showing where they are in the video in case you do not have coordinate add-on. So this one is at uh, 55.43, 27.14, and it's on a mountain north of Fallhaven. So we just flew to Fallhaven right here. We're going to go back here, up this way. Just checking my map to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, there's a few ways you can get up this mountain but let's head up here to our left and it should just be up here somewhere hopefully there it is it's not glowing or anything you might need to clear some of these guys out but yeah they're not glowing or anything you just uh just have to mouse over an area hopefully you see the cog and then you'll be able to click it. So let's go ahead and just click that while we kill these wolves. And we got the old hat. So it says old and worn. This hat resembles those depicted in artwork of the Order of Embers. And it's soul bound. And um, we'll, we'll do something with it later on. Now this next one we're coming to is going to be a flask. And we flew down to uh, Fetcher's Hollow here. I think th it's easier to find these locations if you just do them straight from a flight path. So this one's at uh, 64.87, 67.79. And as I said, it is an old flask. Now th this one's um out on a middle section of a waterfall. And there's a couple ways to get there. It is kind of hidden away, but yeah, there's a couple ways to get there. So we're heading uh, this way that I'm showing right now. I feel like is kind of the easiest. It's less enemies that you have to worry about, but go past that mine that had some sort of dressed magic guarding it. And you can go up this path, which this path might seem somewhat familiar to some people because uh, if you did the uh, treasures of Drustvar, there is a chest up there for that achievement. But we're, yeah, we're going to go up here. You need to go a little bit higher for this. And then cut across here. And it's actually right over there. That's where the old flask is. So we're going to hop down here. Uh, across here. And then right here, wait a second, right here, make sure you jump this. You can't just walk because if you walk, you can actually get stuck right there. And it's really annoying. It happened to me twice already. We're going to just jump right there across. And this old flask is just wedged in between these two rocks, it seems. Get that flask and there's a second item. Now this third item, second to last item, we're just going to fly to Arum Strand. Arum Strand, yeah right here and this one is a crossbow at 35.52 51.87 so from this flight point we're just gonna go west just keep going west this one's under some trees it seems um there it is that was easy old crossbow right there third item now this fourth and final item actually what i've done is from the last location the last item i've jumped down this cliff so this is the uh, waterfall. I was right up there. Jump down this cliff. And this one is at 32.58, 58.91. This is a knife and it's in a tree trunk. So let's follow that. Let's uh, grab the star moss because why not? Let's go to this marker I see on my mini map. And it should be in this trunk. Uh, on the south side of it. Is that it? No, that's all like a... That's like a little worm or something. Okay, I see it. It's kind of difficult to see in the dark, but it's not really that small compared to some of the other things. So there it is. It's kind of like on the uh, southish trunk of the tree. But anyways, those are the four items. Let's put them right here. Four items right there. Now let's go to the last location to get this achievement. 
Now for the ruins that we have to go to for this actual achievement. The ruins are at its goal bar ruins. 44.89, 27.43. So this is where we're at. This area is where those uh, Chilma Yetis are. Also the Awakened Dead for this world quest. Rise of the Yetis. So that's where we are, we are right now. And let's head into this, uh, this place right here. This is where you have to, if you did the uh, Order of Embers quest chain, you head into here. This uh, behind this bookcase, and this is where you um, got like a bunch of Order of Embers rep when you went to the end of this area. So let's, we're heading to the end. I believe that's where you have to go. We're about to find out. Yep, if you uh, look on my mini map right now, I have a bunch of quests, and those quests correspond to these items right here. We're gonna place them all on this table, it seems. Or. Or they're just going to be floating in midair. Whatever floats your boat. Right? Yeah. There's there's like an invisible table here. Anyways. Complete quest. They give you two gold each. A whopping two gold. And there we go. Everything old is new again. Uh, find and return the following order of Ember's Relics to their rightful place in Drustfar. On this invisible table. Anyways guys, that's the entire video. It's a pretty simple achievement. You just go to various locations around Drustfar for it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if it was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.